Go. Well, this is Michael with Metal Detecting Virginia. And I'm Trey White with Metal Detecting Virginia. I were doing electro electrolysis on what we think is a musket barrel found in the old creek bed metal detecting. And so we're gonna get rebar and get negative, I mean positive onto it, and then, then negative onto your object. Then you need a power or source, which we have a car battery charger. It's on two amp manual. And yes. then you need to fill What are y'all doing now? You're figuring out what? How much water you are gonna need to cover up the barrel, right? Yes. You need baking soda to fill. Alright. And how many how many gallons you pour is how many tablespoons of um baking soda you need. So one tablespoon per gallon. So that's one tablespoon. You may need one two gallons. One. So we're putting, we got two gallons of water, so we're putting two tablespoons. And so we're, getting, we're back with two more. See how much, how many gallons we need. So this will help stir the baking soil up that we have. You totally covered? Just barely. Alright, what we can do is we can lift up the one side of the uh, tub to bring the water over. Hold on one second, I'll help you out with that. Alright, so we did two more gallons, so put two more tablespoons in. So that's a total of four gallons and four tablespoons. Now we're just going to put one more gallon in and cover it completely. And one more tablespoon. So then it should, it should start when you want to stir it and get the chunks broken up. It's gonna make it do, um, get the rust off better because that's why you want baking soda. <laughs> so. so, what we have done is um, we have stripped it down so that it'll let the electricity through, and we've added some more baking soda because more is better and it'll make it work a little bit better. So now we're going to plug it in. Alright, hold on before you do that. Let's get this clamp on straight. Put it right here. There we go. Alright, and then you got this one. Now explain what you got. You got positive going to what? Positive is going to red and negative is going to black. But positive is going to your um, piece of rebar. Piece of rebar and then the negative is going to our object. 
All right. So, Stand back. Are you going to touch me then? Then you plug it in. And you should be able to see the stuff moving. If you're really still, and then you still see stuff moving, you'll know there's electricity in the water. And you look for bubbles. You look for tiny bubbles. And that'll tell you also. Like, there's bubbles coming off of the barrel right now. Little tiny bubbles. So... We're going to zoom in and see if you can see any bubbles, small bubbles. And we'll be back in a few hours to check in on it again. And we'll show you the results. Alright, so we have took it out after about a day and scrubbed it down with steel wool. And we're gonna stick it back in there for a little bit longer because there's still little pieces of rust on there. Alright, so we unplugged it. Now we gotta take it out. It's been sitting for a little over a day. So. But well, we did take it out once and clean it a little bit, and then we Stuck it back in. put it back in. Make sure all your water drains out into there. I get the towel ready. And what are you going to do with it now? I'm going to go scrub it with some steel wool and water, clean water. All right. Finished the barrel, put some clear lacquer on it, and um, it's pretty good. And then we also did this axe head.